Hello guys, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do the video that I talked about in my last video. I actually didn't get around to filming my makeup when I was actually going out because I just didn't have enough time. So I thought that I would do it today because I haven't done dramatic makeup in fucking forever. So I kind of just felt like putting a lot of shit on my face basically and making my whole pimple situation worse because why not? <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face. I'm using this one from Touch Eye. It's called The Silk Canvas. Oh my God, I'm actually over these pimples. To be fair, I kind of make them worse though because I keep like scratching them off. Ew. <laughs> why are we? I totally forget to put on earrings today. I have the perfect palette because this is inspired by my night out look. Okay, now I'm just using the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. This is in the shade 143. Oh, I love this foundation. I actually um, am finally filming an earring haul right after this video. I have all of my earrings like all set out in front of me. I actually don't know how I'm gonna film it yet. Figure that out when it comes to it. Ew, bye. It's gonna go nice and medium coverage today. I feel like I just can't go full coverage. Like no matter how much foundation I pile onto my face. Oh wait, oh, I speak too soon. I don't think you can see my freckles. <laughs> For concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer in the shade Beige. It has been a while since I've put a heap of concealer on my face. But let's pile it up, baby. I feel like I should probably do my eyes now before we get any further. So I'm gonna just set it using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. It was actually a new one. Oh my God, I... I knew it looked dark. Glow, why would they make a glow translucent powder? It looks like I have eyeshadow on, honestly. Goodbye. Okay, I'm using this one instead. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I actually don't know what eyeshadow I wanna do yet. Actually, I do, I wanna do purple. Pink and purple. I don't know why I yelled that, that was so aggressive. Pink and purple! I always feel like I need just like a subtle transition color before I go ham. So I'm just gonna use this shade here from the Ofra Must Have Mattes palette. I'm feeling so good about filming right now because I just did a clean out of all of my makeup. I do these like every couple of months and look how much I got rid of. Oh my god! <laughs> Goodness me. So now all of my makeup drawers are looking so pretty and neat and put together. So I've got to get my friends over to come and pick through it. All right, let's drive straight in. I bought this bad boy ages ago. I've never used it. This is, is it Viseart, Visart? I'm not sure. It's the number eight editorial palette. So I'm gonna dip into this pink here and just Go in, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even remember how to do makeup, help me. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna go in with this purple shade here. And I'm kind of just gonna make like a pink purple gradient. I'm watching this show at the moment. Actually, it's a movie. It's called In a Relationship because I'm running out of things to watch. <laughs> Australian Netflix fucking sucks. I'm over it. Oh, I feel like I've already run out of things to watch. I just don't have anything to watch anymore. Okay, and now I just want to make that a little bit darker. So I'm going to take the purple shade here from that same Ofra palette and make it darker. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Novena palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just gonna put this 
shade here, which is called Celeste. How creepy is this? What was I saying? I'm gonna put Celestial on my lid. Actually, I'm gonna mix a little bit of Wild Child in as well. Wild Child and Celestial. <gasps> Sorry, Mia. <laughs> Oh, how pretty. What do you guys think about the whole Anastasia Beverly Hills PR list thing? I've been seeing a lot about it. And I don't even like follow Novena on Twitter, but I feel like my entire Twitter feed is just her tweets. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually obsessed. You guys have weird little things that you do when like no one's looking because every time I start a video I always like and and dream filming as well dream dream during how do you say that word dream during why does it all sound so weird during filming whenever I film and I also do this in the Macca's drive-thru because I always think I wonder if the people in front of me can see this so I do it only at night time though when I think people can't see me and I go there and I go <laughs> like I would be so embarrassed letting someone else edit my videos because they would open it and just me, me be going <laughs> wow I love this eyeshadow look we're doing the full shebang today so I'm gonna grab my match six from Fenty Beauty in the shade Mocha my recording, yes, amazing. Amazing. I hope you guys can hear that rain. I love the sound of rain. I feel like it's so soothing. And I love just like watching movies and working while it's raining. I feel like I work so much better when it rains. After I'm done filming these two videos, I'm gonna go do some research. I'm currently researching two Mystery Mondays and they are both very juicy. When Kerry and I went out for his friend's birthday, it wasn't raining, but I feel like it's because it's been raining so much. My hair, I straightened it and it stayed straight for about maybe two minutes. <laughs> I looked like a mess when I went home. I sweat a lot and it was hot. It was not a vibe, but it was still a good night. So have you guys been watching the Madeleine McCann documentary that came out? I actually have only watched two episodes. I just can't get into it. I feel like it's so slow and they just keep saying the same thing over and over and over again. And they did eight like hour long episodes. And I feel like just from watching the first two episodes, I feel like that was so unnecessary and they could have condensed it down into just one documentary rather than a whole eight part documentary series. I swear I've seen the same drone shot of the ocean about 20 times. <laughs> I was so excited for it to come out and you know, I've done so much research into it, but I'm always like excited to watch something else. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go in with my RMS Beauty Lip to Cheek in the shade Elusive. But yeah, I've gone on to watching other things instead of finishing it. So I'm now just gonna go back in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I'm gonna set the whole center area of my face. I always feel like full coverage makeup looks good from afar. But oh, actually, I like it now that I've set the. Before I set it, this foundation was looking weird in my pores. This powder, like, is my holy grail. It is the best. I just look airbrushed. I guess that's probably why they call it the airbrush flawless finish powder, to be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my under eyes now. And I'm gonna do them in the same order. So I'm gonna first go in with the pink shade and just make it like the same gradient as the top of my eyes. And then going in with the purple. I feel like the reason that I like purple eyeshadow is it makes my eyes look really green. Cause I actually have like hazel eyes. So they're like the insides are brown and the outsides are green, but they're mostly green. But I feel like everyone thinks my eyes are brown. You can really see it in sunlight. 
I'm also just going to grab my Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon. This one is in the shade Blacker. Um, and this I'm going to put in my waterline and also tightline my eyes with it. I feel like I need some black on the top of my eyes. So I'm just going to go back in with that Ofra palette and grab the black. This black fucking sucks. There we go, much better. So Carrie and I literally leave for Italy in two months and we've only booked, <laughs> we're going for the entire month of June and we've only booked one accommodation for three days for my birthday in Positano. After I'm done researching, I'm gonna have a little look into accommodation, hopefully book that today. My problem with booking accommodation is that I am just so, I don't know what it is. Like I just look at all these places. I'm like, wow, I really like this place, but I don't want to book it just in case, I don't know, in case it's wrong or like I decide I want to stay somewhere else. I don't even know what it is. I just am so weird about like holidays and booking things for holidays because I just want them to be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to use this one um, from Jouer. It's called Bloom. That's why I hate, like, I hate booking things. And, like, I will never choose a hotel. Like, sure, I'll choose maybe three, but then Carrie has to be the person to choose. Even when booking flights, I, like, leave it till the last minute. I'm such a worry wart. <laughs> I'm using my Mecca Cosmetica Enlightened Powder, so my favorite um, highlighter ever. And we're also going to Canada at the end of the year with my family. And I booked my parents' business class for the trip. And I'm so excited. It's so funny because right before I gave the tickets to my parents, so I'd already bought them, but I hadn't given them, given it to them yet. And I went and got my nails done with my mom and she was saying how she would love to one day be able to book like business class tickets for my dad to go to Hawaii because she knows that he would love flying business class. And I was just thinking, <laughs> I've already got it for him. <laughs> but I filmed their reactions to getting that and I'm also gonna get them to like vlog on the plane. Cause when in the past I have flown business class, my dad always like FaceTimes me or messages me asking for photos. Or like if I've gone on a brand trip, he's like, I'll get the tickets and the itinerary and dad will be like, did they book your business class? <laughs> yeah, it was really cool to be able to do that. Just going to set my face using the Urban Decay setting spray. I love setting my face. It's so refreshing. Does anyone else's faces get so hot when they put makeup on? Like it could be 16 degrees in the room and my face will just be hot. I feel like because I'm doing a dramatic look, I've got to put on some falsies. So I'm going to put on my classic Queen Bee Lashes from Coco Lashes. And then for my lips, I'm just going to use the Fresh Sugar Petal Tinted Lip Treatment. Okay, so that brings us to the end of today's video. And while I was doing my hair, I actually decided I'm not going to film my earring haul straight after this because I don't know how to film it. So I want to wait till this goes up and I can read your comments and see how you would like me to film it if you have any ideas. Um, do you want me to kind of just show you what they are and talk through where I got them and where I got all of the storage for them and all of that good stuff? Or do you want me to maybe do like a try on haul? I can film it really cool and then put where certain earrings are from like on the screen or I can maybe do a like talk through as well as trying them on or put it in the description and make it like a really cool fun video. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, that's the end of today's video. My nose is running. <sighs> Every time I put makeup on, oh my God. But yeah, that is the end of this video. This is the completed makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.